YouTube, this is Brittany. Brittany YouTube. I thought I'd finally introduce her to everybody. So this is a 1969 Super B that I'm building. And of course it's a custom car. Um, starting with the front of the car, we've chopped the bumper four and a half inches and fitted a 1970 Charger Valance to it. Into the engine bay, we have a 440, freshly built, 550 horsepower. Has a nice lumpy cam in it. Has a brand new high-rise intake, Edelbrock 750 carburetor. This will have power steering. It has a three-speed wiper. Obviously this is gonna be the body color that the whole car is going to be soon. So now if you look up, this is a custom made air box. The filter is built into the air box and on top of the carburetor will sit uh, a base with a gasket on it that will seal the air box to it. So it'll be a true Ram Air car. Of course it has the N96 air scoops to go on top and the air box is fitted to take the air directly from from the fresh air straight into the carburetor. Looking down the side of the car, we've smoothed some of the car, as you can see. The glass is flush mounted. We've deleted the drip rails, door handles, which do have door poppers. So there's a remote that comes with it and you're able to just push a button and the doors will pop open. Custom made side scoops that I made from by hand. You can see that in one of my other videos on my channel. So here's the interior. White face gauges. This is not the steering wheel that will be staying on the car. B&M Quicksilver shifter. Now the transmission is a reverse manual valve body. So basically you go from park to reverse, neutral, and then it goes first, second, third as you're pulling back. There's a rear door panel on, rear door skin. Still have yet to put the sail panels in. Has a factory AM radio. New gas pedal. Rear seat is recovered. A little bit dirty, but it's recovered. And center console, I still have yet to put the glove box lid on it. Seat belts are all installed. I forgot to mention on the inside, it also has the TikTok tack. Now, on this part here, the window has been flush mounted, the front windshield, uh, same as the back window. This is not the glass that's going to be in the car. This is just here for mock-up. We have a brand new glass to go in here. If you look at door gaps, door gaps are very nice on this car. Nice and clean and straight. Everything lines up properly. We'll go to the other side here. Back door gap looks just as nice. Now, this is a custom side scoop that I made. I did these by hand. They're made out of metal. They bolt onto the car from the inside. And it's modeled after a 70 R2, RT side scoop. And the roof, the drip rails are smoothed. There's no more drip rails. Not that we need them these days, because you're not going to drive this car in the rain. I would hope not anyway. There's a the trunk gap. Everything sits level, smooth. It took a lot of time to get all of this lined up nicely and a lot of, a lot of finessing, we'll say. Back window, once again, is going to be flush mounted into the car.
nice sharp body line down the side of the car here. This back bumper is painted at the moment. That's why it's taped up for when we paint the car. It is smoothed and welded on so there's no bolts. And that's why it had to get painted first and then taped up to paint the car because it can't come off that easily. I could take it off. I really don't want to. It's easier to do it this way. I've already pre-painted the blue in behind, so when I go to paint it, it won't be a problem. This is a custom-made valance that I made from scratch to fit the chopped bumper because the bumper used to go down to the very bottom of this. So I went with more of a Charger-style bumper and added the valance to it to finish it off, make it sleeker, sportier, look more like the Charger. Trunk lid lined up nice, gaps look nice. Gap along the bottom looks nice. In behind here is all painted. Well, everything is painted on the inside. The body color, the blue. Trunk gap again, looks nice. Down the side of the car, same thing. Nice sharp line on the car. Side scoop. All the same stuff as it's on the other side. Underneath the car is all painted. Everything's done under here. Right. This is a rotisserie restoration. So it was done on a rotisserie and every square inch of this car has been gone over and anything that needed to be replaced was replaced on it. As you can see, new shocks. It has uh, 390 gears in it. You can see the ceramic headers up at the front. They're Headman ceramic headers, full length. It's going to have a 3-inch stainless exhaust on it. Back to Flowmaster mufflers. And it should sound pretty nice. Um, the floor pan has been replaced in the car, so it's nice and solid. The trunk pans are been replaced amongst many other parts that needed to be taken care of have been done. Even including behind the uh, quarter panels, the rocker that goes in behind the quarter panel that you never see, that's all been done as well and fixed properly. Um, and if you watch my other video on this car for the, for the photo album, you'll be able to see all the photos of all of that stuff that you wouldn't otherwise see when you're looking at a car to purchase. There is a key fob for opening the doors and trunk. So this button here opens the trunk. And we'll take a look inside. Pretty dusty in here, but the trunk is all painted. Got the weather stripping there to go around the lip. I've got carpet in here to go in. The trunk pan is actually very nice when it's clean. It's just we're right in the process of finishing the bodywork, so things are pretty dusty here right now. But it'll look as nice as the bottom of the car, the engine bay, the inside of the car. It'll look just as nice as all of that. Inside the door jams, they're all painted. Everything's painted right up in. And behind the fender. Down here. And there as well. I will be posting updates of this car on YouTube. Uh, you'll have regular videos on my channel. And this car is going to be auctioned on September 9th. So if you're interested in the car, if you want to come take a look at it, and you want to put a bid on it and purchase it, 
come down and see us. I'll put the information in the description. The auction is run by Sullivan Auctions. And uh, we'll see you there. There's two other cars that go with this car. There's a 1972 Roadrunner and a 1972 Charger. Now the, the Roadrunner is road ready. The Charger is a bit of a project. Um, both those cars are also in the auction. So you have the opportunity to own all three if you like. So keep posting, keep, keep on our channel and I'll keep you up to date. And you can watch the progression on the car as it goes together. And we'll see you on September 9th. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is the car, 1969 Super B. It's a real Super B. Um, this car is going up for auction. I've put 2,300 hours into building this car. And now my plans have changed and I can't keep the car, unfortunately. Along with two other cars, I have a 1972 Roadrunner and a 1972 Charger project car. Um, my tools, my equipment, sea containers, everything is going September 9th in the auction. I will post the information in the description and if you subscribe to my channel and keep watching then you will see the progress of this car getting finished it's just about to go into primer right now and it will be painted by by the time of the auction and should be pretty much complete it's going to be of course the blue it's going to have a matte black hood and then it's going to have of course the stripe kit which is matte black as well with the Super B logo on it. So stay tuned to my channel and see the progress and hopefully we'll see you September 9th. Thanks for watching.